Wingstop has been spreading its wings across the country since rap star Rick Ross got involved and put his face behind the brand. He even came to Memphis back in 2012 to open a restaurant here. The popularity was instant. But at several wing stops in Mississippi, the Department of Labor says they were cooking up a bunch of violations. A report from the Department of Labor cited wing stops in Clarksdale, Tupelo, Starkville, Olive Branch, and Oxford for minimum wage violations, overtime violations, and failing to keep record of employee hours and wage deductions, adding up to a fine of thousands in penalties, back wages, and damages. We went to the wing stop in Olive Branch. I'm April from Channel 3. I was trying to see if your manager is available. Um, are they here? The manager wasn't on site, and workers there said they didn't know about the violations, and in fact didn't even work for Wingstop, that the company had been bought out, and it's a totally new operation as of two weeks ago. They told us to contact corporate. For franchise sale, please press four. We could never get past the voicemail. The Department of Labor says the operator of the Wingstop franchises, Boss Wing Enterprises LLC in South Haven, made employees pay for their uniforms, safety training, background checks, and cash register shortages. It said those deductions also caused the employees' hourly pay to fall below $7.25 federal minimum wage. It's horrible. It's not, um, it's not fair to the employees and they should be held accountable. The Labor Department recovered $51,000 in back wages for 244 workers and close to $63,000 in penalties. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3.